Welcome to the Sudoku Primer channel, where we solve Sudoku without pencil marks. This is puzzle number 90 from Sudoku to Go, volume 151. This puzzle gets pretty hard, but then we find a couple of common rows, and they help us find some twins, which help us move ahead. I'll explain what common rows are uh, when I get there. You can print this puzzle so you can follow along with the video. Just click on the link in the description below or go to sudokuprimer.com and look for menu item print YouTube puzzles before you watch. Well, let's get this solved. Let me just put in a, some easy numbers here at first. Here's a right angle pattern right there with a five here and a five here. So that's a Five. All right, and then we've got nine, 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 the nine there, and a couple nines there, so that's a nine with these nines, and nine, nine there, nine here, so that's a nine right there. All right, now we've got. Uh, Ghost six is here, six here, ghost six is here with that six. That makes that a six. All right, and then we've got six here, uh, six here, and we've got a gate pattern right here with a six going through it. So we have ghost sixes here. So ghost sixes. 6, 6 makes that a 6 right there. And then <clears throat> 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 there. And one more. We have another gate pattern here with a 6 going through it and a 6 there. So 6 goes 6s makes that a 6 right there. All right, and then we've got an eight right here. We have uh, eight here and eight here. So ghost eight's there. So eight, eight, eight. And we have eight, eight, eight here. So eight goes here and here, <clears throat> here or here, and here or here. So we use double column elimination. That makes that an eight right there. All right, and now with this eight here, we have a five and an eight and a five and an eight. So these are five, eight twins. We can't solve these yet, but we're gonna use them in a minute. All right, and we got a four here and a four here, so that's a four. All right, and then we have two numbers left here. One, five, one and five with a five there makes that a one and that a five. And now we're we're starting to get to a point where this puzzle's getting pretty hard. Now we've got another double column elimination situation here. We have our five eight twins there, and a five is in one of these three places. So Box six, the five has to be here in, in this column with a five there and ghost fives there. Ghost fives five, that makes that a five right there. All right, and now that we do, we've got almost all of our sixes. The only two boxes that are missing is six are here and here. These are, um, one of these is a six and one of these is a six. But remember our five, eight twins here. So that makes that a six, which makes that a six. All right, well now, 
we've come to a point where this puzzle has gotten pretty hard. Um, if you want to stop the video and uh, see if you can uh, find the next numbers, go ahead. Or uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to go go ahead myself. Now let me let me explain the uh, the concept of common rows. There are two rows here, this one and this one, row four and row nine, that have the same numbers in them. We've got two, three, five, six, eight, nine. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine. So these two rows have the same numbers in them, and so they're missing the same numbers. One, four, and seven. One, four, seven, and one. Four, seven, right there. All right. And with that knowledge, we've got a one here, so that means these are missing four and seven. So these are four seven twins. You see how I did that? I know these are missing one, four, and seven. With that one there, um, these have to be four seven twins. And same goes with this column. We've got a four here, so these are one seven twins. All right, so what do we know right now? We found these five eight twins, and we've only got two numbers left here, one and two, so these are one two twins. So one two twins, five eight twins, and we know these are one seven twins, and these are four seven twins. All right, now with all that knowledge, we can find a four right here because we have we got a four here so one of these is a four but since we have four seven twins here that can't be a four so that makes that a four and that makes that a four right there and then we've got an eight here and an eight here with a right angle pattern right there so that makes that an eight you may remember these were ghost eights. Uh, I pointed out these were ghost eights, which makes one of these an eight. So once we put the four in there, we know that's an eight. All right, and with this eight here, we can solve our five eight twins we found. And now we've um, we've got four numbers here. We know these are one seven. So these, these two are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, 2 and 3. And there's a 2 there, so we can solve them. And then we've got a 3 here, 3 here, 3 here, so that's a 3 right there. We've only got two numbers missing in row 6. Three and seven. With that three right there, we can we know that's a seven. That's a three. All right, and then three, three. That makes that a three right there. Okay, now we have <clears throat> only one and seven missing in this column and in box six here. And look at this uh, box four right here. We're missing four numbers, but we have a corner pattern right here. We've got an eight and a six in here already, and we've got a nine in here already. But remember our four seven twins right here. So with this corner pattern here, knowing this has to be a seven or that has to be a seven, we've got ghost sevens right there. So that makes that a one and that a seven. So we took advantage of these four seven twins again to find these these numbers here. All right, and now we've got ghost ones here and a one there, so that's a one. All right, and we're only missing seven and eight here in box uh, two. And we got a seven there, so we'll fill those in. We can fill those in. All right, and with this eight here, and eight here, eight here, we can 
put an eight right there. I don't know. Now we've only got two and three missing here. There's three there. So two, three, which makes that a two. And we've got three, five, seven. Three, five, and seven left in box four. Three and five there, so that's a seven. There's a three, so that's a five and a three. Okay. Now we've got five here, five here, five there, so that's a five right there. Five, five, that's a five. All right. Got a one right there. We're missing two, three, four, five, two and seven there. Okay. There's a two, so that's a seven and that's a two. All right. Box three is only missing one number. And let's see, four sevens there. Can't do those yet. Here's a one and a seven missing. With that seven, we can fill those in. And then we're only missing one and two here. With that one, we can solve those. And seven, seven, seven missing there. That makes that a four. All right, now we, we had four sevens there. We couldn't solve a minute ago with these seven and four numbers filled in there. We can fill those in. And we've only got uh, <clears throat> one, two, four missing here. One, four, two. There's a one there, so that's a four, and that's a one. And that's it. All right. Well, there's a concept of common rows where you've got the same numbers in two different rows. And in this case, we had <clears throat> five of the eight numbers. So we we're only missing one, four, and seven in each of those rows. It helps us find these twins a lot quicker. Now, uh, <clears throat> we probably would have been able to find these twins without noticing their common rows, but it made it easier to see those twins. So common rows and columns can come in handy. You can have the same thing in, in columns, where you've got two columns with the same numbers in them. So watch for those, because they can come in handy. And uh, check out some of the other uh, Sudoku Primer videos out there. There are over 300 of them now. Uh, so be sure and watch some more while you're at it. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.